All right, so an if statement is a type of conditional statement in programming, meaning it checks if a certain condition is met. An if statement in the most simplest terms is if this, then that. In fact, if statements in programming are actually shorthand for if this, then that statements. One of the greatest lesser known facts that most people don't even realize with if statements is that if statements are essentially just booleans. They activate if something is true and don't if something is false. Now remember that because understanding that fact can save you a lot of headache when trying to debug your if statements. You simply just have to look at your if statement and ask, is this returning a true or false value? And honestly, it doesn't get any more complex than that. If you've ever asked someone an if question, you understand if statements. Now let's look at how to write an if statement with code. And we're going to do this by using two different languages because I think it can be really helpful for you to see how they compare and contrast. And plus, you'll pretty much learn two languages at once. So on the left is the language C Sharp using the IDE Visual Studio, which should interest you if you want to do Windows development or want to make games using a popular game engine called Unity. And on the right is the language Python 3 using the IDE Visual Studio code, which should interest you if you want to get more into general programming or data science. All right, so here I have two brand new console projects. And if you don't know how to make a new console project in either C Sharp or Python or both, be sure to check out the video in the description. Uh, it's called How to Install an IDE. And at the end of that video, I'll show you how to do that. All right, so today's lab is gonna be really simple and really easy because once I show you the Boolean secret with if statements, you're gonna get it right away and you're not gonna have any problems with if statements moving forward. So just as I mentioned, the secret that most people don't even realize with if statements is that they're really just Booleans that will run some code block if their value is true. But before we dig into that, let's first look at some of the syntax differences between C Sharp and Python. All right, so starting with C Sharp over here on the left, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of these two lines because I do not need them. They come standard with any new console project. And I'm going to write out an if statement. And to do that in C Sharp, first thing you need to do is just write out the word if, and then you want to add parentheses. And then inside these parentheses are where you wanna put your Boolean. So I'm just gonna put true, uh, in C sharp, the true value is lowercase. And then under it, I'm just going to write out a start brace and an end brace. This is the code block that will run if our if statement is true. And there you have it. This is how you write if statement in C sharp. From here, you can write any commands that you want in here. So you can do like, I don't know, console dot write line if you want to. And then we can put hi. For example, uh, you can put whatever you want. And so long as this returns true, this Boolean within the if statement parentheses is true, then this block of code will be ran. Now, before we move on to Python, I just want to mention one really important thing. Uh, if statements in C Sharp, they have to have the parentheses and the Boolean has to go inside of the parentheses. If you two were to remove this, you can see that we will get a syntax error because if statements in C Sharp, again, have to encompass the Boolean value in parentheses. Now, over in Python, the way that the if statement works is the exact same. However, the syntax is a bit different. To write an if statement in Python, we wanna first write out the word if, and then simply just put true. And the true value in Python is uh, capitalized, so don't forget that. And then at the end, we have to end it with the semicolon. I just wanna pause here and make this distinction. While yes, Python doesn't use parentheses, it uses instead a colon. And this colon is what tells Python that the Boolean for your if statement has been completed. And so moving along, to do the code block for your if statement in Python, it's a bit different than how C Sharp does it. Again, the way that we indicate a code block in C Sharp is we use the two braces start and end, and we put all of our commands in the middle of those two braces, all which are under the if statement. But in Python, instead, we just have to go to the new line and we use indentations instead of braces. So to give an example, and here we can just do like print, and then hi, and there you have it. And so the next natural question to ask is, well, how do I add more commands to my if statement? Well, the answer is pretty easy actually. Anything that is under the if statement and is indented in will count within that if statement's code block. So for example, I'm just gonna hit Control C, Control V, just to give you an example. 
Uh, so here are four different print functions that are all within this if statements code block because they all are indented in and they're all under this if statement. And so the next natural question to ask is probably something like, well, how do I exit this code block? I mean, I don't want my whole entire program to be dependent on this if statement. And the answer is in Python, indentation rules over everything. So for example, if you want to exit out of this code block, all you would have to do is just come down and then return back to the regular, regular indentation and just do print, I'm out, for example. And just to prove to you that this works as I say it does, I'm gonna hit the play button right here and you'll see that we get high, 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 I'm out. And then I'm just gonna set this to false to let you, to let you see that we set this to false, this code block will not run we're just gonna get printed, I'm out, hit the play button, and right there all we have is I'm out. And another question you might have is, well, what about if statements within if statements, like nesting if statements? I think in C Sharp, it's pretty obvious how you do that. You would just write an if, another if within an if, and uh, do another code block, and you can do another if if you want to, and this can go on forever and never until you get tired. Um, but in Python, it's probably not as obvious, but so I'll show you. So you just write uh, within that code block, which again is uh, indented, one indentation out. You just do another if statement, uh, true, for example, colon, and then just another indentation. And you just keep this format going as long as you need to. And here we'll do another if statement. Uh huh. Print another high. And that's all there's to it. And here's the very last thing that I'm going to leave you with. So in C Sharp, I'm just going to get rid of all this just so it's a lot less confusing. In C Sharp, when you have a code block, you can leave that code block empty if you want. You have no errors, no problems. Uh, C Sharp won't complain. You'll be fine. But in Python, you can't do that. So if I remove all of these lines and just have our if statement, and then we will return indentation after the if statement, you can see if we go to our problems here, you see that we get an error for that. This is not allowed. You have to put at least something in there. So you know, if you just want to write some if statement just to fill it out later, for example, you can just put A if you want to, which does absolutely nothing. And yeah, there you have it guys, that's if statements for you. I just want you to remember our little secret. The condition that if statements checks for, they're only a Boolean. And again, the code block will run if the Boolean returns true, and it will not run if the Boolean returns false. And so with that, you can create some pretty intricate and complex Booleans, and then just put that Boolean right here in the if condition from the most simplest program to the most complex program. That is pretty much how every program works under the hood. If you wanna learn how to better use if statements, I highly suggest you check out the Boolean lesson that I did. In that lesson, I go over more detail on how to use Booleans in some real world situations, and then once you create that Boolean, you can just embed it in an if statement like this. And yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to know to get started programming in regards to if statements.